Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Sir Mark and on this video, I'm going to discuss the problem that I posted on my Facebook page uh, about pre-calculus for quarter 1, week 1. But before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. So if you're ready, let's begin! Okay, so this is the problem. Find the equations in general form of the tangent lines to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 10y minus 128 equals 0 at the points of the circle on the x-axis. Okay, so this problem is uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the problems that I presented uh, during the national training of senior high school math teachers on the use of graphing calculator to enhance teaching. That was held last November, okay, 2019 uh, at Cebu City. Okay, so uh, as I said, okay, so this is the problem. So we are after for the equations of the lines uh, tangent to this circle on the x-axis. Okay. So now, so since given a general equation, we can convert this into standard form or standard equation. From there, we can determine the center and the radius, right? Okay, so that's uh, by completing the square, okay, by completing the square, so x squared minus 8x, so I have to add 16 on the left side, okay, while for y squared plus 10y, I have to add 25, right? Okay, so... That is, so if I add 41 on the left side to maintain equality, so I have to add one, uh, 41 also on the right side. Okay, of course, I, I have to transpose negative 1 to 8 on the right side. Okay, so look at this. This is already a perfect square as well as this, right? So, okay, while this one, you can convert this, uh, uh, you can combine this as 169. Okay, so from there, Okay, so we'll have uh, x minus 4 to be squared plus y plus 5 to be squared equals 169. So therefore, the center of the circle is located at 4, negative 5, while the radius is 13. There you go. So since you already have the center, you already have the radius, somehow we can make a sketch, okay, how our cir uh, circle will look like. Okay, so as shown. So, once again, we're after for the equation of the tangents, tangent lines, okay, uh, on the circle, which is tangent, oh, well, touches the, uh, the x-axis, okay? So, meaning to say, so this point here is x sub 1, 0, while this one here is x sub 2, 0, okay? Okay, so, once again, take note, ang goal natin, ano yung equation ng dalawang lines na to? Alright, so how are we going to do it? Okay, so take note, we already have the standard form of the circle, okay? So we can actually plug in, okay, uh, this point. Take note, these two points here, okay, uh, the point of tangency is on the circumference of the circle, okay? So meaning to say, by doing that, okay, so y will become 0, so that will become 13 squared or 169 minus 25 or 5 squared. And take note, 13 squared minus 5 squared Pythagorean triple, that is 12 squared. Right? So, extracting the square root, we're going to have uh, x minus 4 equals plus minus 12. And clearly, I'm going to have two values of x. One of them is, if, is 16. Alright? So that will be 12 plus 4. The other one will become negative 12 plus 4 or negative 8. There you go. So therefore, negative 8, 0 and 16, 0 are the two points of tangent C. Okay, now, uh, I have a point for you to determine the equation of the line. You have uh, to get a slope. Okay, so how are you going to do that? Take note. So this radius here is perpendicular to the tangent line, right? And we know a line that contains the radius is what we call the uh, normal line. 
And ano ba yung slope ng normal line natin? Or the line that contains the radius? Negative 5 over 12. See that? Okay. So, again, 0 minus negative 5 is 5 over negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. So, since we have the slope of the normal line, so the, rec uh, the slope of this tangent line is the negative reciprocal. So, which is 12 over 5. See that? There you go. So, since I already have the slope, I already have the point, I can now get the equation of this tangent line. See that? That will be 12x minus 5y equals c. And how are you going to get c? Just simply substitute negative 8, 0 to x and y respectively. Okay? That is 12 times negative 8 minus 5 times 0, that's negative 96. Therefore, one equation of the line, of the, of the tangent line is 12x minus 5y equals negative 96. Clear? Okay, how about the second line? Alright, for this line, so like what we did here, we have to get the slope, okay, of, uh, of the line that contains this radius. Okay, so the slope is, okay, 0 minus negative 5 is 5, 16 minus 4 is 12. So therefore, ang slope nyan is 5 over 12. Okay, therefore, the slope of this line is negative 12 over 5. Tama, negative reciprocal. So I have the slope, I have the points, so like what we did earlier, so the form of the line will be 12x plus 5y equals c. Okay, to get c, same thing, plug in 16, 0 to x and y respectively, that will be uh, 12 times 16 minus 5 times 0, that will be 192. Therefore, the second equation of the tangent line, uh, the equation of the line, okay, the second tangent line is 12x plus 5y equals 192. See that? Okay. So, that's it. We we're able to answer the problem. Now, perhaps you're wondering, uh, since na, uh, binigay to during the training on how to use calculator, perhaps you are curious, some of you are curious, how are you going to solve it using the calculator? Alright? Using the calculator. Okay, so uh, this calculator here is the one that we use during the training. This is Casio FX9860G2. That's the, the, the unit of the calculator. But since I don't have the emulator of that one, I'm going to use the similar uh, uh, brand, I, I mean similar unit, okay, but more advanced, so Casio FX CG50, okay, so papakita ko sa inyo how to solve this problem using this calculator, okay okay so, arrange ko rin. there you go okay, so take note so, again, isisolve natin to using the calculator so, take note, this standard form, okay, yung x minus 4 to b squared plus y plus 5 to b squared equals 169 can be converted into function like this. Tama? Okay. Kasi, uh, this calculator, so if I grab ko yan, okay, notice, in function form, y equals, okay, so dapat, uh, makonvert ko to, okay, let me, okay, convert ko to, this one, standard form, into function. And that is 169, transpose ko yung x minus 4, 4 to b squared, extract the square root, and then transpose positive 5. So that will become negative. Clear? Alright, so, uh, I have to enter, okay, the square root, okay, so 169 minus x minus 4, alright, x minus 4 to b squared, and then, minus 5. Okay. So, ano itsura nito? Alright, there you go. So, as you can see, half circle lang yan. Okay? Half circle. Okay. Next. Okay. So, we're going to, uh, we're going to sketch the second part since half circle lang yan. So, yung ibaba, yung negative. Alright? So, that is negative. Okay? Square root of 169. Okay? By the way, record natin. Okay, 169 minus x minus 4 to be squared. 
All right. Minus 5. There you go. Okay. So, therefore, this is how our circle will look like. Okay. So, to get the point of tangency, so I have to press, okay. So, tingnan nyo to. I have to press this button, G solve, then, then get the roots, pressing F1. So, the roots are negative 8 and 16. See that? Negative 8 and 16. Okay. So, since I'm after for the equation of the tangent line, okay, so I have to press sketch, okay, then press this F2 for tangent line. Okay. So, then, sa anong line yung gusto mong kunin, so, at point negative 8. Okay, there you go. See that? So, this is one equation of the tangent line. Y equals 2.4x plus 19.2. Ano ba yan? So, okay. So, yung 2.4, that is 12 over 5. While 196 over 5, that is 19.2. Okay, you can check that. Okay. Next, for the second one, okay, so same thing, press the tangent line, so at point negative 8, or oh, 16, okay, there you go, alright, so the second equation is negative 2.4, okay, plus 38.4, and that is, yung negative 2.4, that is uh, negative 12 over 5, and uh, 192 over 5, that is actually 38.4. Okay, so that's it. I hope you learned something on this episode. So, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And you're also invited to join our Facebook page, Learn Math with Sir Mark. Keep safe.